Hey Ross World, my money makes money. If you're in a hole, stop dicking. Now you know since the start of the year, my whole theme has been debt. I do other videos, but I'm mainly talking about debt. Excuse me as I look down, I do that time to time. But anyway, if you're in a hole, stop digging. And the reason why I had this in front of me because you're in debt and you're still digging. You're in debt and you're still going to buy a new car. You're in debt and you're still looking for things to purchase knowing you already have the same thing or you want an updated model simply because you have the money knowing you owe somebody else. Now let me tell you something. As you scour the internet, if you search far and wide on the internet, you don't have to look for it. It comes to you. I like my Gmail account. I love my Gmail account because it does the whole social, promotional, and then regular emails, right? Now, every now and again, some of those promotional emails get inside my regular email. I'm not upset about it, but this is the thing. I wrote down a few quick things. Junk mail, spam mail, marketing and advertising mail, newsletters, and the infamous coupons. Why? So let's talk about marketing. So today I got a call. Actually today, today is March the 21st, 2018. Says Marriott would like to offer you a free night. I'm like, okay, cool, because I am a Marriott Gold member. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm getting a free night, maybe some special. They did some sort of promotion where they're going to offer a couple of thousand of their members free nights. But no, it was some sort of resort in the Caribbean trying to really hook with me. Okay, trying to trick me and to come into their resort using a Marriott free night stay. That's one thing. Here's another. In your junk mail, you have all these companies trying to come after you for your business. And what is your business? See, they use these key terms. Say, oh, sir, we would love to have your business. You know where I'm going at with this, right? You know what your business is, right? Your moolah, your money, okay? Your greenery, okay? Your treasure. They want your skrilla, they want your gold to boost their business. They don't care. They send these emails to everybody. And they always use certain certain gimmick phrases like, oh, sir, we have a special offer for you. Oh, a limited time offer. All of these are trick words, really key words that get inside your mind that works on the psychology of your mind like you're special or this is a limited time offer. Guess what? That offer gonna come again. It's gonna come again. They use these promotions to get money out of you. If you're in a hole, stop Digging, the limited time offer, the special offers, the free giveaways, all of these are trick words, all of these are gimmicks, all of these are ways to take money out your pocket and stop you from the goal that you're trying to obtain. And that goal is getting out of debt. Yesterday, I put $5,000 to pay off my credit card. You're saying, well, Ross, where you're always talking about debt, but you're in debt yourself. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I went through a situation in my life where I had to put things on my credit card, but I had a plan. Now, granted, if you're not disciplined, if you're not grounded, my plan is not going to work for you. But guess what? I have a zero on that card and I have a zero on another card and I have a zero on that card. My two capital one cards, zero. I may use it to pay off my bills, get those rewards as a venture one card to get those rewards, and then I pay it off before the 30 days hit. But this is my way. If you're in a hole, stop digging. I don't understand it. Why are you buying things, items, gadgets, products that you don't need? Right now, your focus should be giving people their money that you took, their money that they loaned to you, okay? This is the thing. If it's not a grant, then it's a loan, right? If it's not a grant, then it's a loan. You need to pay that money back. This is the thing. People I know, I won't say any names, right? Contact me via email, phone, whatever. And they're mad. They're upset. They're discouraged that a couple of years ago or within the same year, they call a creditor. They call a bank. 
they call a loan office to take out a personal loan or mortgage or whatever, and they mad they owe people money. Like, oh, I ain't paying these people that money. They did me wrong and this, that, and the other. Why are you blaming a company that you sold out to them to get their business and pay them whether it be a monthly or one-time thing, and now you can't pay it, you let those bills, you let that amount go into default, which is collections, and now there's a collections hurting your credit, but you're mad at the parent company. And what's a famous company? The phone companies, right? The phone companies. People are always, always defaulting on the amount of money they pay, need to pay for their phones because some of you got two, three, and four phones on there and you have astronomical bills, right? You have these astounding bills that you need to pay. Somebody told me you had to pay $1,200 on their cell phone bill. And I was like, why? We all had three or four lines and I had this many people on it. We had all these options. We had unlimited data and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay, why are you mad at them? Oh, when I called in and I tried to get a payment plan, they said they already moved to collections. Oh, okay, so if they didn't move it to collection, they was going to give you a payment plan? Well, that's what it seemed like they was going to do. Okay, now granted, companies putting you on a payment plan in those times of financial hardships, that's a gift. Okay, they're doing it out the kindness of their business, not their hearts, right? Out of their business to attract more customers. Like, because some people are gonna have a great experience. They're gonna say, hey, when I was with this company, I called in, I was going through a divorce, I was going through a death in the family, I needed some extra funds, so I couldn't pay it. It put me through a very, very low payment plan. But nevertheless, I still have to pay that amount that I accumulated. You need to understand this money, people. If you're in a hole, stop digging. Stop digging then it's not their fault you waited until the account got into collections because I promise you this, I promise you this, companies are famous for contacting you via mail, via phone, via email and say, hey sir, your account is about to go into collections. You should give us a call and work out a payment plan. You should give us a call and let's talk about this thing because they're showing you that, hey, we don't really want to do this, but business is business. If you're in a hole, stop digging. So don't have the excuse of on a company, a company money if you're the one who contacted them or nevertheless, even if they contacted you, you didn't have to give them none of your information. You could have said no. Like today, the marketing company tried to hit me up at some resort in the Caribbean, supposedly, right? Could have been a scam. Nevertheless, I said, uh, no. I'm, I said, no, I rather not have the conversation. I hung up. Some people just hang up. That's your option. But listen, don't fall for the junk emails. Don't fall for the spam emails. Don't fall for the advertising and marketing schemes when they personally trying to contact you. Pay off your debt. Stop digging yourself a bigger hole. Oh, I need a new car. No, you don't need a new car. You want a new car. If your car is having issues, try to fix them, but if the fixing it's more than buying a, a used car. It's probably a good financial decision to go ahead and buy you a used car, not a new car, okay? So I want you to put on your big boy hat. I want you to put on your big girl shoes. And I want you to ante up, stop making excuses, pay these companies their money, okay? Call in, make payment plans, make payment arrangements to stop your accounts going into a collection that is killing, killing your financial future and stopping you like a barrier, like a roadblock from moving forward in your finances. What is moving forward in your finances? Have enough money when you're old and decrepit and can't do nothing for yourself. You can pay for other people to do it. What is financially moving forward? Financially moving forward is taking a trip every year of your choice or just keeping the money in your pocket and you still have money in investment, you still have money in your savings, you budget your money well and you're not in any debt. Debt is killing us. Now, once again, I'm, I'm gonna mention it, I do believe in house debt because once your equity rises in your house, that debt is essentially non-existent once you sell your house. I'm off of it, but the point I'm making is this, if you're in a fucking hole, 
Stop digging. You're digging and digging and digging. Then you upset calling them like, oh, this is effed up and you cursing them out. Then you get mad at these uh, really trifling, disrespectful collection companies that call you. They used to call me about 10, 12 years ago. So believe me, I have been a victim. Am I a victim if I did? Nevertheless, don't get upset because they calling you because they sold the account. Now they're trying to get some money out of your pockets. But I'll say it again, as I said it maybe 50 times before. I have the debt removal letters, the debt collection removal letters for you. If the account is in collection, these letters will help you to remove them from collections. Because I'm going to tell you right now, do not pay anything in collections. I'm telling you to pay your bills what are in great standing right now, but they're in collections. Listen, I have my email in the description. Email me. I'm going to send you my debt removal collection letters and it's verbatim, okay? It gives you step-by-step -step instruction to get out of debt. But here's the kicker. Don't get in debt. Pay those people their money while your accounts and still good standing. This is Raw's world. I'm trying to really figure out if I'm in a hole. Take for instance, I'm in a, I'm, I'm in a spherical hole. I'm in a, 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 a cylinder hole. I'm in some sort of box hole. It doesn't matter what hole. I'm just making up stuff, right? Whatever. And I'm 10 feet down. And I say, well, how can I get back up there? And it's a shovel in your hand. But you're trying to get back to the surface. But you keep digging. Does that make any sense? 100% of your being, you want to get to the surface. You want things to be leveled off. You want to be solid. You want to be on the ground. You want to have a strong base. But you're in a hole digging away. I've been working on it. Why? You tell me. I'm out.